Hey folks, number three here. Mm. Now, this is one that actually shocked uh, a lot of my friends in regards to the fact that I didn't really like this one. Because they were expecting, because it was atrocious colors and everything, this would be a big one for my Generation 2 thing. And this is Shattered Glass Octopunch. And it's just, for some reason, something about it just is not doing it for me. I've never owned the Sea Spray mold, so I don't know if it's just the mold choice or what cause is causing it. Um, colors are this dark green, maroon, blue for the tentacles, yellow for the windshield, and this off-color green-ish on the top. Uh, this one, however, and I'm gonna add the however, is gonna have some saving graces to a lot of people who don't like it. I'm not sure if I'm one of them yet or not, but Made in Japan, who I've reviewed his Junkion add-ons on this channel before, so if you haven't uh, you watched the channel but you haven't gotten to see those reviews yet, you should look those up. His work is amazing. It's all hand-sculpted and cast, and just very nice work. But... He's making a new head and actually tentacles for this mold. So I think that is going to be a big, I don't know if, I, I don't want to say rescue point. Because it's, I mean to a lot of people it's not a bad mold. And I know a lot of people that love it as sea spray. I know a lot of people who uh, preferred the dark repaint of it. I can't remember that's name right now. <laughs> but as it stands with this color scheme, it just doesn't work for me personally. Which is going to be every BotCon set for everyone. I feel the need to emphasize that to people. A lot of times you're not going to like every figure from the set each year, but you'll like some more than others, you'll dislike some more than others, and you're going to have to choose if it's worth spending the money for an entire set and liking a few or taking the chance that somebody will sell just the certain ones, and usually there is people who will do that. Uh, I may be one of them with some of these sets this year. I've gotten t hip offs on a lot of add ons for some figures, so I'm going to be very wait and see how those turn out for some of them. Octopunch is one of those ones that I'm just not sure if it's going to. I've seen some mock ups for the tentacles. Well, kind of. He uh, has them on his YouTube or his Facebook fan page. You should look him up if you collect junk, have a lot of junk ends. You definitely need to look him up. Uh, he's gonna have tentacles that plug in here, and then a replacement I don't know, head that's gonna be the actual diver suit. Uh, general appearance. Robot mode does look a lot better than vehicle mode. And it's coming off a lot more red on my camera than maroon. Which I'm not sure if that's just the lighting overwashing it or just the light balance on my camera. And with this set as a whole, I realize I'm counting from my least liked to my most liked. But all in all, I have to say, the set is a I think a bigger hit than people are expecting. And I'm also thinking, just from what I've heard for add-ons, it's gonna be worth the time to try to get some of them. Maybe wait it out, because it's still right after BotCon, so there's still some very large price jumps. 
So there's a chance a lot of that stuff will go down. Um, so there he is, number three on my list, going from least to favorite. And hope it was helpful.